So we got our nice creamer right, Lucas? And we got, and you, did you finish this? Yeah, I finished that dish. And this is my dish. Um, I have four slices of toast there, um, you, as you can see. Then I put in some ghee on it that you can't really see because I spreaded apple butter over it. Then I put some sausages, and this is the apple butter I used. I have peaches here with orange marmalade. And marmalade, I can show. And it's marmalade, and put, not marmalade. Marmalade, and I put honey on top of them. This is this orange marmalade. I'll get them out of the you see that. Thanks for watching. We have more Floating Chef episodes with the, with the two Floating Chefs. Bye. Bye. Living in the light you're giving out Satellite in your space Whenever you cross my mind We're forgetting how to slow it down Should have the paint, you see? Yeah. That's the paint of your prop. Oh my god. The black one. Oh, this is coming off the prop. Uh, okay. see, it's the props that need to be Because they step there, we take it off with the paint to come off. Oh god. We may have to address this prop thing. Huh? Prop. There is some paint that is really good for the metal prop. The speed yeah. prop? Uh, they call prop speed this one. Mm -hmm. I feel the better the prop speed is a paint called Velux Plus. Velux Plus. Plus. Velux Plus. Uh, it comes white. It's a silicone based paint. That this is working really well in this world. Really? Really well. The, the, the barnacles still growing, but to take it out, sometimes instead to use the scraper, I can use my gloves. And wipe mm. them off. Okay. Mm. So the paint will stay there longer. So once a month, especially if your boat is sitting at the marina. Yes, all the low country area. Yeah. You you need to have the boat clean every month. Yeah. Then in, from December the water starts to be cold. Yeah. Like, There's less growth. Less, less growth. than sixty, below sixty. 
and you have less grow, you can stay like two, three weeks, three months without cleaning. But from end of February, March, you have to start cleaning the boat again. What, what's the biggest mistake you see with people? They buy the new boat or they just uh, put the boat at the marina and they forget about it, right? What is the yeah. biggest mistake? That's what they do. They, they, they think that because the boat is new and maybe there is a new paint on the boat, they are safe. Two months is gone. Totally gone. And usually, I don't like to say that, but usually the dealer, the boat, when they paint the, the boat, they use really cheap paint. Yeah, yeah. When the boat touches this water here, if you are in Florida, it's okay, but if you are here, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, that paint is like a, putting a wall paint on the boat. It's doing nothing. 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 You are here, and you live close to the boat, like once a week, go to your boat, turn on the engine, let the engine breathe. Yeah. Go forward and backward so mm -hmm. the prop can spin. Yeah. Take care of your boat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let him get to okay. doing his thing. Those are good tips. I didn't hear you. You're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. <laughs> I don't want to, but I have to. Yeah. <laughs> There he goes. Look at this thing. I know these are barnacles, but this looks like you could just say, oh, my molars are killing me. <laughs> Doesn't this look like a set of teeth? Well, maybe your molars, but those are like okay, elephant well, molars. Okay, well, my molars. <laughs> if this is somebody's molars, you need to go visit the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> molars. I'll be interested to see what you got, what you think the bottom, uh, how it looks since we have that, the uh, sauna hall system. So, so if you move, it should be fine. Here, we'll just brush it off a bit. Yeah, yeah gently. Gently. <laughs> what? <Well>, gently. <laughs> Where are you from? Italy. Oh, okay. I'm Serbian Croatian. So you're European too. Thanks. My... Should I say Yugoslavian, but that doesn't exist. No, my brother-in-law is, is from Croatia. What happened? Does it look beautiful? <laughs> It's pretty good. Even even? Is it really? The, the zinks are good, Ivan. Okay. The zinks are good? The zinks are good. Uh, there, there's a lot of buildup on the props. There's really? A lot of articles, yeah. <laughs> you know why? Because some of that black paint had come off. Yeah, I see, I see it. <laughs> Is it on on the, the, the whole prop or just? Yeah, so the cones, the blades, and all the way up the sail dry. All the way up the sail, the whole... Well, not completely, but there's some up, up it. But what's really bad is, uh, like, the cone uh, and between the blades. And the yeah, blades. yeah, yeah. It's okay. good. Really? The bottom is okay? The, the paint on the hull is, is perfect. So inside the tools... You compromised. If you have a, if you have a generator, if you yeah. have also a sink, uh -huh. that's a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the point we have a perfectly clean hull if and they, not, uh, you cannot even run the engine because it's full of barnacles. Yeah, yeah. If you're in the Bahamas, it's clean water. You can do by yourself with a swimsuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Problem. yeah. But if you're here, in this area here, pull it down. Yeah. Pull it down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We not are not expensive, but yeah. making yeah. your boat flow. Yeah. yeah. Call the diver. I agree. Especially it's a little bit, you know, between alligators and, you know, <laughs> all this. Right. We usually have an alligator swimming by the shore here, going over there. They'll be here before us. Yeah. Right. They'll be, they'll be here after us. Oh, that's what they use to clean the hull right now. Oh, you use the that hull. to clean. We just oh. get really fast on the hull and take all, everything out. Okay. The small scraper is the one that we use for the uh -huh. hard part. The small one, the stronger, this is for the propeller, all the yeah. barnacles we yeah. have there. And then we use the, the brush the bra and the screwdriver. We, we have a 10-inch screwdriver hey. that we use to clean the true all inside. Yeah. Ah. The small scraper is the only one that you can use to clean the intakes when they are covered with the cover shell. Okay. So you can go there straight. And then it's all your arms. <laughs> <laughs> Was that fun? Oh, well, yeah. not really fun, but... <laughs> <laughs> kind of fun. I can Come on, it is say, fun. Uh, pretty much all your through holes were filled Cover. with particles. Really? Jeez. Yeah. I'm sure that, that uh, tr the speed transducer... Oh, that was caked. It wasn't moving at all. <laughs> oh, look, these already have...
have a uh, look. It has little feet. Yeah, but I don't want to touch them. Well, touch the feet. No, that's how they swim. <laughs> I'm just touching their bodies because they feel nice. Okay, so we have these little shrimp shells here. Uh huh. That when I this cut guy, three pounds and they of come, raw fish and they come shrimp. from these guys. Okay. So, oh my gosh! This is my sh little shrimpy. Okay. He's right here. Hold on. Uh huh. Are you throwing it? Yep. And then watch this. See if I can hook on to him. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Okay, I need to go check my salmon. Yeah, go check your salmon. Come on. Yeah? Okay, so you guys, this is just a. Uh, oh, oh. Oh. All right, so in the six months that we've been sailing up to the Chesapeake and now on our way back down, this is the second time that we've heard of basically the exact same accident that has happened. Uh, that ambulance that just pulled in is here because one of the boats here went out uh, boating for the day. They, they ended up hitting ground as they were entering or, or exiting uh, one of the marinas and they hit the bottom and somebody was coming up the steps, not holding on to anything and they flew backwards and they hurt their back and to the point that they can't get up. And so the ambulance is, is, is here to help them. But it's just a, a, another quick safety thing to say that, look, when you're on a boat, and we say this to Oliver and Lucas all the time, this is not a playground. There's no running around, slow your actions down because things are wet and moist and you could, you know, there's dew and, and rain and all these things and you could seriously, seriously get hurt. Obviously, anytime the boat is moving, hold on to something. Or just have a, or just sit down, or right? Or just sit down. Like because just this is the, the second one. It was a, a, a couple up in the Chesapeake, and the exact same thing happened. But she was she broke her back, and she was in a hospital. Yeah, for the weeks. woman in the Chesapeake. She they were in a monohull, and they hit ground, and she flew from the companionway steps. And for those of you on monohulls, know that from the cockpit area down your steps down into the lower uh, cabin area is a, a good distance down. And she flew down backwards, landed on her back, broke her back, and ended up obviously in the hospital. So. Similar thing here. Um, I hope, you know, certainly that she's okay, um, but you know, just you gotta be careful. Really careful. We're out here to have fun, but safety, safety, safety. Mm -hmm. How many days now I'm being... Uh, 
All right, so we're sitting in Hilton Head. We were going to continue our journey south, but because of this is Hurricane or the effects of Hurricane Eta, it just went over Jacksonville and is headed out into the open Atlantic. So it's several hundred miles away from us, but we've been having this kind of weather for the past two days, which just shows you the sheer power of Mother Nature. It's a storm that's hundreds of miles away, yet we're getting dumped on with just an incredible amount of rain. The seas, I just checked the uh, sea conditions out. Um, just on the other side of Hilton Head are uh, 10 to 12 foot waves with about an eight second separation. So it's pretty miserable out in the Atlantic right now. So we're gonna, we're hanging here. And then Monday we have about a 12 hour window. We're gonna quickly <laughs> run, <laughs> sail around the island of Hilton Head, only to the other side of Hilton Head, join some friends that are sitting there as well because there's another storm brewing coming up through the Caribbean. It's in somewhere around uh, Puerto Rico right now. I'm not sure if they've even named it yet, but um, we're obviously not in, in a rush to get down to Florida and we're certainly not going to push safety or just miserable sailing conditions to go out and sail in this. So here we are in the, uh, in the safety of Hilton Head Island. This is a beautiful place. We're grateful that we're here. Wow. Yeah, this storm, this edo is crazy. Look at this. If you guys can see this, this is the path of Edda. Wow. This is a storm that doesn't know where it's going. It <laughs> came from the Caribbean. It went all the way over towards the Panama Canal. It made a couple loop-de-loops. It went over Florida. Then it thought it was going into the Gulf. Then it decided to cross back over and go into the Atlantic. So quite a, it, this is a storm that keeps everybody guessing, but uh, I think we're, we're grateful that well, we're grateful that it didn't come here. Um, 